Hey everybody, I'm Owen Murphy. I'm back here. Um, right now I'm interviewing the boys volleyball coaches. I have the head coach, Coach Hoare, and as well I have the assistant coach and head coach of the JV team, Mr. Ritter, Coach Ritter. So let's start off. Um, obviously it's been tough for a lot of the spring sports. I'm fortunate enough to have played a fall sport because personally I know if this happened to me, I would have been crushed. Um, you know, you've only, this would have been your third year as a varsity program. You guys have had great success, back-to-back uh, -back county champions, back-to-back -back hack and tap tournament champions. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys had high expectations going into this year. Um, can we just talk a little bit about the ex expectations that we had going into the um, 2020 season? Sure. Um, I'll, at the very beginning of the season, I, because we lost like seven seniors from the previous year, we were, I, at least I was all set for a rebuild year. Uh, mm -hmm. Taking a lot of the JV team from last year, who also uh, made the county finals two years in a row too, that we were a decent shape of saying, okay, well, we'll see what we do. We had um, three returning players uh, back to the varsity squad. That was it. Two of them started. One of them was going to be a starter. So technically we had a very unproven team. Now that's what my thought was going into tryouts. Once tryout started, and I saw the young group of players that we got, both sophomores and freshmen, and then I saw the improvement of the existing players, I was no longer considering this a rebuild year. Yeah. My mentality changed to, wait a minute, we could actually go for a three-piece. Yeah. This is no longer about rebuild. They got that good. They got that much more um, intense when it came to both the work ethic, the, their abilities, from, from the offseason, because I think that the three players that came back to the varsity squad knew the responsibility. Yeah, At the same yeah. time, the kids who played for JV knew, listen, we got to step it up. We're going to be in this situation. We got to get better. And they just added uh, more tools for me to use. I mean, it's a yeah. testament to what Coach Ritter did um, last year and also what they did in the offseason. Yeah, well, let me touch a little more on that, because, uh, Mr. Ritter, we've talked in the past, and we talked about how I, at the JV program, you try to make it so it's almost like a feeder to the varsity and you're developing the players where you're still trying to win, but you're also trying to develop them to get them to the next level. Uh, Mr. Ritter, can you touch a little more about how you guys work that program to get them uh, these players to the varsity? Absolutely. Um, thanks again, uh, Owen, for hosting this here. Yeah. Um, you know, Coach Brock and I are, are always in conversation with one another. And, you know, he, he's done such a great job of establishing a very clear uh, mission and vision for our program. And, and like you uh, alluded to there, it's not necessarily about the wins. It's about how do we develop our players to uh, foster a lifelong lo like love of the sport? Uh, how do we increase their technical skill, uh, sportsmanship? Um, the things like that. And, you know, uh, coach and I, we, we sit down together and we look at our players and we look at their strengths and we look at areas of improvement and we try to uh, tailor our practices to really uh, hit those ideas so that once they leave my play time, you know, it's a more, it's a more, uh, I guess, streamlined transition to work with, uh, with coach. Absolutely. I mean, that's great. Cause you see a lot of times that um, the JV programs almost aren't taken as seriously in other schools and other places, but I feel like here, and I can say for the soccer, um, for the soccer program as well, we try to develop the players at the JV to get them ready for the varsity the next year or two years, whatever it is. So that's great to hear that it's happening at different, uh, our different sports programs. Um, have you guys been in touch with both your teams here and there throughout the um, coronavirus break? Uh, yeah, we set up a Google Classroom. Uh, we constantly do posts and stuff like that. Um, I know for a fact that I'm overlooking everybody when it comes to all three teams from varsity, yeah. JV to freshmen. Um, I keep them up to date of what was going on with the state, what was going on with um, whether or not we would have a season or not. Yeah. Uh, we did several videos just to keep them in practice, just some for fun, some for just like little drills to keep their spirits up. Uh, right. We provided them with drills, um, certain things that uh, – that we were saying that you could do on your own. We did want them to get together as a group because yeah. of the social distancing and stuff like that. So we said, listen, these are things you can do with say your sibling or your parent just taught you a ball just to get in practice, just to get touch on mm -hmm. the ball, repetition, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Coach Ritter, I know was doing something uh, with 
uh, re video reviews that he could discuss a little bit uh, to keep in touch with the guys, just to give him a different aspect. I was more on the physical side when it comes to the skills involved, mm -hmm. keeping in contact with them and say, listen, you guys need anything, let us know. And then like uh, Coach Schroeder can discuss a little bit what he was doing with, uh, with, his, um, with his side with the JV and varsity. Yeah, please do. Yeah. So uh, one of the things as a, as a JV coach, um, fortunately now we've been able to uh, develop a freshman team as well. And uh, okay. we even have some uh, interaction with the, with the middle school uh, players that are, that are building up in our community too. So the idea of starting off JV with, uh, with people that really haven't ever played the game is, is a fading kind of idea. Even okay. so, um, I was able to find uh, last year's NCAA championship, um, Hawaii versus uh, Long Beach State. And uh, we've been in the process of reviewing a couple of, uh, of the sets for those matches. So I had my players take a look and uh, varsity and freshmen as well to um, find a corresponding player and analyze um, in several plays what they did right, what maybe didn't go as well, and try and incorporate that into their, um, into their repertoire as well. So um, there's a lot that we can do now in the, in the digital age and in, in reviewing these tapes, setting up um, like almost like Ed puzzles or setting up um, these Google forms to, to more structured from afar, take a look at these plays. Yeah, absolutely. That's a uh, very impressive. It's actually great to see that all our teams are still staying connected. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's hard for a lot of them. Um, like, like I said before, I mean, for me, it would have been, really really hard to accept that my season wouldn't happen so like how are the um spirits of the teams like are they is everyone at least trying to stay positive trying to try trying to stay active um from my understanding yeah i mean they're constantly in contact with one another when it comes to just like group chats and stuff like that that they discuss um spiritual or as high as they could be with not knowing whether or not they would have a season i know yeah. a lot of the players are disappointed they didn't um, mm -hmm. All the way from the seniors who would be, uh, we had some seniors who were in their first varsity season, which is okay. kind of disappointing not for them to get varsity level play, um, mm -hmm. to the freshmen who were just looking for just getting the court and play competitively. That's always a downer um, when it comes to that. But also, it's just, it was a, uh, they knew that they weren't alone in a sense that, listen, you want to talk to someone who's actually here. These are things we actually do to share with one another. I think the videos helped too, to a certain point, because it felt they were part of something. Yeah. Um, they're still going to get guidance also. Even though we don't have a spring season, if there's any summer work they can do, uh, we're in constant contact with them. I'm constantly putting feelers out about every, whether or not there would be something. And of course, the biggest thing when it comes to summer stuff, or even during the fall or during the winter, it's all dependent on the situation of what we're in. Well, we're not going to sacrifice safety just to get you on the volleyball court. Nothing is worth that at all. It's about keeping them safe, keeping them healthy, um, and stuff like that. But we're constantly in contact with them when it comes to, listen, you want to learn to do something, this is what you can actually do. You need to talk to someone, we're available. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Mr. Ray, do you have anything to uh, talk about that? I mean, with your, in terms of your JV team? Um, you know, it, a coach really hit it there. Um, the varsity guys, they've been playing together for a really long time. Um, my JV guys are, I have a couple of returners uh, who, have, who have built a really strong relationship with one another. Uh, I was really, really looking forward to this year. Uh, again, we have a lot of new talent that's come out for our team. And uh, like coach said, the, uh, the videos, the team building videos, I think helped uh, introduce the players to each other. Um, it'll never fully make up for for not being able to hit the court, but you know we're yeah. everyone's doing their best to to make the best of the situation. That's good. Um, and the last thing here um, is there anything you guys like to say to your seniors that you unfortunately won't have the chance to coach anymore? But I'm sure you've coached in the, for a good amount of time now. Um, the biggest thing is we're working on stuff for like a uh, for a senior tribute yeah. type thing. Uh, Mr. Miller's been good when it comes to communication with the coaches about listen. We know we're not going to have a spring season, and how do we send off our seniors the best possible way, uh, given the circumstances? So when it comes to stuff like that, we're building up stuff. So don't worry; they shouldn't worry; they're not forgotten. I've been talking to some of the parents also about what actually we can do uh, for them when it comes to that. Uh, the biggest thing is, um, I could say to the seniors, especially, um, I mean, for the four seniors we have, um, we had uh, Malcolm, who basically. Uh, was not down a little bit at the very beginning of his career and then came back strong and said, listen, I really want to do this. So that's a hats off to him and his perseverance. 
We had someone like Alex Foreman, um, another one who started off as a freshman, who both Coach Ritter and I had the luxury <laughs> of being able to coach. And he will give us um, memories we will not forget. Um, just make sure you do not put any orange Gatorade next to him because you know <laughs> what happens when he gets next to orange Gatorade. Um, Mason uh, Glad, which has been nothing but um, a fighting spirit when it comes to everything about volleyball. I mean, his brother said such a precedent for him when it came to being a captain, being all county, whatever. Mason didn't let that hold him back. Mason just, listen, I'm just here to play. I'm here to do whatever I can for the team. I'm going to do whatever you want me to do when it comes to this. I can help here. I can help there, whatever. Never, ever have I seen Mason down. He's always been, okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. And, again, this one, he's one of the players that I was really looking forward to see exactly what he could do at the varsity level. And, lastly, um, our senior captain, Braden Cook, who's been with us since, um, again, since his freshman year. The very first, um, I was hoping he would be the very first three-time um, varsity championship for school. Yeah. Unfortunately, he missed out the opportunity, but he's just spread a service of what he's going to do in the future. I know yeah. that he's going to be playing volleyball in college. I know that he got invited to play on the Bermuda national team uh, for volleyball. So he's got a bright future on him. I was just hoping that we could actually just end his career with another championship. Yeah. So that feather in his cap. Although he did get two in a row, which is not bad. But, again, it's that little bad, cap no. that we would have loved to put on his high school career. Unfortunately, yeah. we can't get it. But, again, he's done nothing but everything I've asked him to do. He's played three different positions from his freshman year to his senior year. Um, and the only good thing of him graduating, we don't have to worry about wiping down volleyballs anymore. <laughs> because – Braden knows what that means, and he's going to go like, oh, my God, I can't believe you just said that. But I'll understand what that means. Um, and Mr. Ritter, anything? Yeah, you? Um, you know, Coach, again, you gave a really fantastic um, a summary there. Um, Malcolm, again, I got the opportunity to work with him uh, starting last year, and, you know, Coach couldn't have said it better. His perseverance and willingness to improve himself has been spectacular. Um, yes. Both Mason and uh, Alex Foreman, they actually were um, uh, part of my first squad that I got the opportunity to coach with on the Froshmore team. So being able to uh, watch where they started from and to where they progressed to is it's an honor that, again, few coaches get an opportunity to, uh, to see. And then um, Braden, while he was never um, on, my, on my team, he, was, uh, he started off at the JV level. Um, he's always been such an asset to, to the, even the underclassmen with his leadership, his knowledge of the game. And, um, you know, the, the, these group of kids, they don't come around very often. And, you know, we're very proud to have had the opportunity to work with them and hope that they can pass their love of volleyball on to the next generation too. Absolutely. Well, it's definitely a testament to you guys um, of the success that you've had. I mean, I was looking, definitely looking forward to um, watching and covering in the Raider News class a possible three-peat which obviously you said was looking like um, likely this year. Um, but thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. And, and hopefully you can do a three-peat uh, the following year. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Owen. Absolutely.